All right, now we're in a rather common situation. We're in heavy traffic, stop and go on the DC Beltway here, and we're losing a lane here. So everybody's got to merge in. This right lane is being lost. Let's see how the autopilot handles it. Anything could happen here. All right, I'm hoping the autopilot will stay in the lane and, and give enough room for this guy. I don't think anybody else is going to try to sneak in there, but we'll see. Let's see how it does. I think a lot depends on how the drivers around me handle the situation. All right, see it's moving over to the left side of the lane. I think it must sense that the vehicle is there. I'm way over to the left side, you see that? And it's sensing other vehicles around me. I think we're almost to the worst part of this. All right, let's see what it does here. We're almost out of road. Again, I'm doing nothing here. No hands on the wheel, nothing on the accelerator or the brake. I'm just letting it handle it itself. Let's see. Ooh, it's getting close. It's getting really close. Okay, I'm just going to hit the brake there. I was a little concerned. You see there's a truck there. I, I'll put it back now. But I was a little concerned there. I don't know if you saw how close that was. I may have averted disaster. I don't know. I think these are the areas I'm finding are having a little bit of trouble or challenging the autopilot system are where there's a strange lane ending or the lines aren't lining up straight like it's in a straight lane construction zones, lanes that go down, things like that. But anyway, I'll have to go back and look at this video again, but I was pretty sure I was not going to play chicken anymore with this car in front of me.